What is going on YouTube? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a little bit different. We're not covering a missing person in this morning's video, but we are covering a missing law enforcement officer. However, this law enforcement officer happens to have four legs. And the reason why I wanted to cover this case is that these canine officers, they're so instrumental. And when we go to try to find missing people or the remains of a missing loved one, or in this particular case, this was a canine dog. So they're instrumental in trying to keep the drugs off of our streets. And I feel that when one of these canine officers goes missing, it warrants attention, especially in this particular case where it seems that his law enforcement officer handler may be responsible for his disappearance. Now, this takes place in Chapmanville, West Virginia, and the officer, Marcus Dudley, was put on administrative leave after the canine, whose name is Chase, went missing on April the 11th. Now, the police chief said that Marcus Dudley's statements have been pretty inconsistent, and they're doing a thorough investigation. They've even brought in the South Charleston Police Department. The South Charleston Police have been searching for Chase since last week, and again, they say that Marcus Dudley's statements are inconsistent. The Chapmanville Police Department initially said on the 11th of April that Chase had jumped the fence at his home in the area of 2nd Avenue in South Charleston. When his handler, Marcus Dudley, went to check on him, only his collar and the chain that he was attached to were left, but there was no sign of Chase anywhere. The South Charleston Police Department started working on the case at the request of the Chapmanville Police on the 12th of April, and they determined that Chase did not escape from Dudley's yard, and he was not stolen from the yard. So this begs the question, what happened to this canine dog? Basically, the original allegation of the dog being left out in the yard and then either getting out or being taken, they know for a fact based on their investigation is not true and that did not happen according to South Charleston Police Captain Andrew Gordon. The Chapmanville Police Department is aware of the South Charleston Police Department's findings and depending on the result of that investigation, there may be criminal charges filed against this, this police officer. You know, I I can't imagine. It's just beyond me why anyone, especially a law enforcement officer, would want to do something to one of the canine officers. South Charleston police are asking the public to continue to search for Chase or to contact them with any information that they may have about the canine's disappearance. The biggest concern at this point is trying to find Chase. And they said that they want everyone to go out there and try to find this dog. And this picture is up on your screen. So if you're in the South Charleston area, certainly, um, you know, be on the lookout. Hopefully he's still alive and he can be found. And that would be great news for everyone because Chase is an officer for the Chapmanville Police Department. He's literally family for him or for them. And they want to know what happened to this to this canine dog. Chase was only with the Chapmanville Police Department for about a month, and he's fully trained in narcotics. And so it's just devastating for not only the, the police department, but the community that he worked in. And if this officer, Dudley, did do something to harm that dog or worse yet, killed the canine officer, I think he should be charged just like anyone else that kills any other officer. And you can say what you will, but we've seen this in the past. We've seen people get charged with capital crimes for killing a canine law enforcement officer because technically they are a member of that department. But I definitely feel that some type of criminal charges need to be filed against Officer Marcus Dudley if he did indeed do something to this dog. Well, they need to be filed regardless because his story is not adding up. He, The investigation's already proven that the dog did not get stolen and did not just leave voluntarily from the yard. So there, that only really leaves foul play of some kind involved. So Officer Marcus Dudley, I'm glad he's been fired. That's all well and good, but he does need to face criminal charges for his actions. And he better start speaking up because the longer he stays silent, the worse it's going to be on him. So that is the story of K-9 
Canine Chase, who is missing out of Chapmanville, West Virginia. Again, if you're in that area, please be on the lookout. And if you do come across him, again, his picture's on your screen. Get in contact with your local law enforcement officers. Guys, do me a favor. Just give the video a like. It does help more people to see the story. And I do want to thank everyone for tuning in and watching. Give the video a share so people can see it and everything. But... Guys, I do thank you so much as always, and I will see you real soon in the next video.